and welcome back to 143 Vinyl. My name is Kate and today we are going to be talking all about the cup press attachment to the new StarCraft Swing Away Silver Heat Press. I am so excited to share this with you guys, so let's get started. So fresh out of the box, your cup press attachment will already have one of the sizes um, already bolted down and ready to use. However, if you find that that size is not going to work for your project, it is super simple to change out to one of the other size attachments. So let me show you how. With a set of pliers, um, it is really simple to grab and twist your bolts off. Now I have found that you only really need to do that one time. Um, after the one time, they are super easy to remove. However, if you have weak hands like me, you might need to keep a set of pliers handy nearby. So let's go ahead and detach all of our bolts and change out to another size. All right, now that all four bolts have been removed, it is super easy to just slide it on out and grab your new attachment. attachment we can go ahead and slide it back on and just make sure that they line up and you can bolt it right back in it's super easy all right and now the last step before we start plugging everything in is we need to make sure our pressure is ready changing the pressure is super easy now let's test it first once you clamp down it's a little bit too light of pressure so let's go ahead and change that. So this black knob back here is how you will change the pressure to your cut press attachment. You just turn it whichever way you need. We need to tighten it, so we are going to do that. Make sure our silver piece back here stays in front of the line there. We will get to more of that later. Try to press it again. Now that seems like really good pressure, so we are ready to attach it to the heat press. So guys, it is super easy to remove everything that you need. This is the heating element to this top press, so we are going to unscrew this one to attach the one for our mug press attachment. So you can just move that out of the way. Grab the one that you need for your mug press. Now something to note is there is a little slot here. So just make sure that it aligns and then screw that back in. So this part is super, super easy. Again, this is the heating element portion to make sure that your attachment is going to heat up. Now the next part that we need to change out is the display portion. Okay, so to remove the display cord, it is super easy. Just pull that out, grab the attachment for your mug press, and place that back in. And now you are good to go to turn it on. Okay, now that we have the heating element and display cord attached, we can go ahead and turn on the heat press. And for this specific cup we are going to press at 385 degrees for 180 seconds so over here on our display screen we will press our settings button set it to 385 which it is already set to that so if you need to either press the plus or minus buttons and if you hit the settings again you will see your seconds come up so this is only just 60 seconds 
So we need to increase that to 180. And there we go. And all we have to do is wait for this to heat up, but the cup press attachment heats up super quick. So we are just going to go ahead and attach our image to our sublimation mug. All right, now that our heat press is warmed up, you will notice that it continues to beep. This is a super easy fix, do not worry. All you have to do is push the minus key and it stops. So we are ready to press our mug. So we have our image attached with heat tape on both sides. We also have a piece of butcher paper to make sure that no ink spills onto our attachment. So very simple, we are going to wrap the cup, make sure the handle is sticking face up to the opening, slide it in, just double check to make sure your entire image is within the heat platen, and we are ready to press, but before we press, all right, now this metal piece we mentioned earlier, this is going to be what starts your timer. As we push in the pressure, you will see that this piece springs forward and you can even go in and start it manually. But to avoid having to count, make sure that this metal piece aligns with that and pushes it back in. So that way, once you press your cup, it will start your timer. Okay, now that our heat press is almost counting down, we are going to put on one of the heat resistant gloves that come with this heat press and a tool to help remove our image. So I'm going to be using the stab and grab tweezers to make sure that my hands are not going to touch the cup directly because it is going to be super hot and we do not want any burns. All right, it is ready. So let's go ahead and release the pressure. You might see all that steam coming off of our cup. So we are going to move the butcher paper and take that off first and use our tool to remove the tape. So just be very careful. It comes off super easy. There's one and then we will remove the second one. And there we have it. So simple, so easy. Let this cool off, give it a good hand wash, and we're ready to drink some coffee. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that this has helped you attach your cup press to your new StarCraft heat press. And until next time, my name is Kate, and I will see you later. Bye.